Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about Node.js HTTP module which is the core module in Node.js. Later on we will talk about NPM request module and we will see how it makes it easy for us to make HTTP request. We will talk about callback hell problem and how we get into callback hell and how we can avoid getting into callback hell using promises. We will talk about ES6 promises. We will talk about uh, Q library, Bluebird library and the NPM module Axios. But before getting into all of that, I think it makes sense to first talk about the HTTP module in Node.js. So here I have a small API which supports a GET request, a POST, a PUT and a DELETE. So for GET request we have a URL ISO country and passing in the country name. If you pass China as the country name, it will give you two digit ISO code for that country which is CN. So if you pass Germany, it will give you DE and if you pass something that doesn't exist in our ISO lookup object, it will give you a 404 saying record does not exist. For post request, we are just simply printing the request body and sending a status of 201 and the request body as the requ uh, response. For put also, we are printing just the request body and sending a status of 200 and the response as the request body. And for delete, we are printing the delete uh, ID and we are sending a status code of 200 and the message as resource deleted. But in actual, you will use the database to insert uh, that record uh, that comes in the post body. So here we are using express and body parser to parse the body that comes in put and post request. And we are also setting the limit of the put and post body to 5 MB because by default Express does not allow us to send large amount of data in put and post body so here by specifying the limit to 5 MB we can send large amount of data up to 5 MB in the post and put request so this is about the API so let's just run the server so that we can use the API so node server.js so now we can use the postman to access the API so we will make a get call to the endpoint which is localhost uh, 3000 and it was ISO and country and passing in the country name so if we pass China it will give us a status code of 200 and the ISO code for China which is CN and if we pass uh, say Japan it will again give us a status code of 200 and the ISO code for Japan which is JP and this is it but if we pass something that doesn't exist at our backend say US then we will get a 404 saying record does not exist so now we have made uh, this HTTP request using postman now let's see how we can make this HTTP request using the HTTP module by programmatically using the HTTP module. So here we have the HTTP get file. So here we are requiring the HTTP module from the Node.js. Then we have a JavaScript object options and a callback. And here we are calling HTTP.request, passing the options object and the callback. We could have defined the callback here in line but I think it's better to first define it and then pass it to the request uh, method. Uh, now this HTTP module is based on streams and on that stream there are events and with those events when they are fired we have the callbacks that will execute when that event is fired. So whenever we get some chunk of data we will uh, this callback will execute and this code will execute. So here what we are doing is we are uh, creating an empty string and whenever we get some chunk of data from the server we are appending that chunk of data to that empty string so this event end will be fired when all the response from the server have been received and the response is complete so when uh, end event is fired this function will be executed and we will just print out the entire string and on the error event this callback will be executed here we are just printing the error message so suppose if error uh, happens while making the request then in that case this callback will be executed and that error message will be printed so here we are just saying we are done with the request 
calling request dot and is a must so if we execute this uh, file now so let me just open another terminal and I think we are in my projects and it's HTTP call so now if I execute node HTTP get JS HTTP get okay I want to execute the get one we will get the ISO code for Japan which is JP so if I change the Japan to China we will get the ISO code for China which is CN but if we pass in something say US it will give us record does not exist so here we are specifying the options so HTTP dot request have the sensible option so by default the host will be local host so we can get rid of this option and the by default the method that will be used by HTTP request is get so we can get rid of this also and by default the port that is used is 80 but in our case our API is uh, using the port number 3000 so we have to provide that port number 3000 and the path which is slash ISO country and the country name so these are the sensible defaults that HTTP request uses now there if you see the docs there is also a method HTTP get so if you see the HTTP get you have this HTTP get and it says the only difference between HTTP uh, this method and HTTP request is that it sets the method to the get and calls the request dot and automatically. So if you use HTTP dot get, you don't have to do uh, call the request dot and. So in our case, we are calling the request dot and because we are using HTTP dot request. But if you use HTTP dot get, you don't have to call that request dot and, and you don't have to even specify the method name, which will be get by default because you are using http.get so we have talked about get request now let's talk about the post request so http post is also the same we have the options uh, uh, here and here we are specifying the method to be post and the same callback now here we are also setting the header here because we are setting uh, this header because we are passing the content that request body as json so we have specified the to the server that we are sending a json so we have specified the header as content type is application json and we pass the uh, data uh, to the request body using request dot write so here we are passing a, a json string which have the club property which is set to liverpool and a message and we again this and the same thing we have the data uh, we have the end and we have the error message so if the request uh, does not pass through we will get this error handler call so suppose if I stop the server and I try to call the get one again we will get the error message error with the request the error connection refused because this handler is called so if you see the http.get error with the request and the message will be printed so if any any problem with the request itself then this callback will be executed because the error event will be fired so again getting into the uh, post so here we are specifying the header which is content type application json and we are setting the method to be post and the path is sample post the port is the same and the host we could have get rid of this because host is by default local host and the protocol is also by default HTTP so we can get rid of HTTP also so we can remove these two things in this case and it will still work so now if we execute the HTTP post node HTTP okay we have to start the server because we shut it down so server is up and if I execute HTTP.post so we got uh, the message and you can see it was printed on the server post body and it sent us back that same uh, request body that we sent to the server. So this is how HTTP post works. So you basically set the header and you write the data that will go into the request body of post request. And simply uh, like the post we have the put also. So in this case uh, we are making the request to the API endpoint sample put 
again we can get rid of these two things because these are the default that are used by the HTTP request and we have to set all of this and again we are passing in uh, some data in the put body so here we are specifying our JSON and here we are setting the header to application JSON to tell the uh, server that we are sending JSON so now if I execute uh, node HTTP put we will get the same uh, request body as the response that we send in the request so we get the same uh, uh, request body that we send into the request as the response so now the only thing remaining is the delete now for delete we have specified the method to be delete and we are calling uh, sample delete and passing in the ID of delete to be 10 again we can get rid of these two things because these are defaults and we can execute this and now in this delete case we are not uh, passing any data so we don't have to set the content type and we don't have to do request.write because we are not writing any data to the request so if I execute now node HTTP delete we get the message resource deleted and on the server you will see that ID will be printed so ID is 10 and the server responded with the message resource deleted so HTTP have these two methods HTTP.get and HTTP.request which can take an object as the first argument or it can also take a string as an argument first argument and the second argument will be the callback when you pass the string as the first argument it will use the default options in that case so be aware of that so this is it uh, for the HTTP request so we have made get request post request put request and the delete request using HTTP.request so in the next one we will see how we can use uh, npm request module to make uh, to help us make HTTP request by writing less code and one more thing like uh, here we are using HTTP protocol but if you have to make HTTPS request over HTTPS then you will need the HTTPS module which is also a core module in Node.js so if you want to make HTTPS call then in that case you will have to use the HTTPS module so in the next one we will talk about the npm request module and we will see how we can make HTTP request uh, by writing less code so hope you find it helpful cheers and we will talk about the next one in the next one